Hello everyone and welcome back to another Keep Productive video. Today we'll be exploring Slight versus Slab versus Tetra. And we're partnering today with leading software comparison and review site Captera to help you make more informed decision and choices around what software you choose. You can use Captera's wide variety of insights and reviews to help you improve your decisions. And it's fantastic to have them on as a sponsor. In today's video, I'm bringing together my own knowledge to review these applications, so let's dive in. Now, all of these applications are really suitable for small, medium, and large-sized teams that are looking to bring together a knowledge base. So, without further ado, let's roll into the availability. So, let's start with Slight. Now, this is actually available on all devices, which is perfect if you're looking to take it on the go. They do have a mobile application, which is available on Android and iOS. Now, Slab, it actually doesn't have a mobile application, but it is available on web, Mac and Windows only at the moment. Now, Tetra on the other hand is probably the weakest when it comes to platforms with only being available on web. However, they have a really nice Slack integration, which we'll talk about a little later. So let's look at pricing. Now, Slight does have a free plan and you can add up to 50 documents in that plan. But if you were to wanting to go with unlimited documents, you're going to be looking at $8 per month. But there is a premium pricing, which is $15 per month and as you can imagine per seat as well which gives you access to open id and also permissions that can be adapted for teams now slab on the other hand is available for free and up to 10 whole users and it has a similar pricing plan to slight with eight dollars per month being their pro plan and fifteen dollars being their premium plan but there are some limitations when it comes to attachments and to be honest it's actually a slight is actually a little bit better when it comes to the megabyte attachment storage uh, options inside a slight. So just make a note using the sheet um, on both sites to look in, in little bit more detail if you have some limitations when it comes to attachments. Now Tetra on the other hand is free for the first five users and they have a 99 per month pricing for the first 10 users. Then after that it's $8 for each new member. So these applications are fairly similar but let's take a look at the features. Now Slight is really designed for asynchronous teams. That's what they want to sort of push it towards. It has some great abilities when it comes to creating very in depth documents. They've got features like embedding, and that's great for being able to share anything from a bookmark to a YouTube video, you can do that. You can also use a function in it called Sketch, which allows you to visually demonstrate something to your other team members. And you can also collaborate in real time together. Two features that I think should be highlighted are the private notes ability, which is perfect for your own note taking, whether that's just things that are on your desk at the moment, maybe sort of post-it note fashion, which is pretty helpful. And you've also got tables, whilst not being as complex as say notions databases it definitely does help to have that inside of a wiki application like slide now looking at slab this is designed as a wiki and knowledge base and the great thing is you can connect it up with other tools for search so if, for example you wanted to be able to search a slack or maybe even your Google Drive, you can do that all inside a slab, which is actually pretty helpful because it saves you going to those other applications and have it all in one location. One thing I really like in slab is the subtopics, which are perfect for bringing on new people to catch them up to speed and also to make these threads a lot more understandable when it comes to capturing knowledge that might be siloed. Another feature I really like is the verified feature, which allows you to see what pages have been formally verified by a specific team members members, meaning you're getting the most clear cut knowledge from your team. And they've also got some great analytics, which is perfect for being able to see insights on what people's actually accessing in your team. But it's really nice as well, because they highlight the fact that this application is best when new employees want to start and catch up on information compared to apps like Notion, apparently. There's that sort of disconnect that Slab want to fix. Now, looking at Tetra, there's some great integrations with Slack, and there's a feature in this application called Q&A, which I really like like because if for example you and your team want to gather information up you can have Q and A's um, to start sort of a building knowledge in your team base and they'll start putting it in the right place. Uh, you've also got experts as well so you can be deemed as an expert inside of your group which is perfect if you and your team say you're a new employee or your team are working on something but they want to be able to find the expert in a specific topic then they can go and find that through the application. Now let's look at who these are best for and it's really hard because they're very similar to some extent. 
months then. These applications are wiki applications that don't have any project management. And as you can imagine, it might be a little bit different or difficult to differentiate from. I would say Slide is best suited for those who are creating simple, simple handbooks or internet replacements. And it's much more of a stronger package than Dropbox Paper as an alternative to it. And it does have some great features, including that private notes and tables. When you're looking at Slam, this is best suited for people, I would say, who are doing something similar, creating handbooks and guides. But the one thing it does do great is that search all in one location. And it's more focused on wiki management for knowledge teams. Now, Tetra is really suitable for best um, sort of traditional teams that where knowledge is trapped. But I really like how the expert function and the Q&A feature help you to draw that information out as you go. And the Slack integration is actually one of the most popular in the market, uh, just at how it works to be able to communicate with Slack in real time. So folks, hopefully you found this review helpful. Um, obviously, it's a little bit harder to be able to differentiate between these two. But Captera does have some great reviews that you can use to basically drill deeper into people's experiences. And I'll make sure to link them in the description below. Anyway, folks, a huge thank you. And I'll look forward to speaking with you in the next video. So please do make sure to subscribe and like today's video. Feel free to comment below with your experience if you've used any of these apps. Cheerio, folks. Thank you.